so it's Lloyd Christie and then Errol's elder brother in the gold trunks and Winston Spencer now from London he'd moved to Wales for a while born in Jamaica boxed for the London Lynn Club and was a, a real sparkling amateur at one time and joined the Mickey Duff camp but uh, he's now with the, the Frank Warren team Lloyd Christie comes in at 9.13 that's surprising that's the lightest he's been for some years in his career he's been 10 stone 7 10 4 he really has got into shape now boxing with the Lynch brothers stable in Birmingham so it's made at 10 stone this match and I must say on paper it looks a very even match too both good punches good pickers of punches too Spencer at 25 is considered sort of the veteran, if you like. Christie's 22. <laughs> Searching opening round, as you would expect. As I said, they're both good stand-up boxers who like to pick their shots a bit. Don't rush into everything. Spencer had a good contest with Tony Willis in this ring, but was then stopped later in the fight. He looked good at the start, but uh, Willis overcame that and stopped him. So a minute to go then in the opening round. Always encouraging advice from the back of the hall, go on, hit him. I don't know what they think they're in there for. I'd rather see boxers like this taking their time a bit and showing a bit of style. in the opening round is amazing because very few people have hit Winston Spencer on the chin like that and he just suddenly froze and that was the end of it well Jim that was you know some kind of knock it looked as though he was all just going to relax at that point Spencer and then he got hit you know with the left hook was bang on the chin and as soon as it landed Spencer was gone the right hand was uh, totally finished the job but as soon as that left hook landed it was all over have a look at the replay then of the finish just when we thought Spencer was just taking his time that started a little bit that was the one over the top and he was really finished but as you say the right hand punch was the end of it then 